guys and welcome back to my channel here in this video i will be doing a nail swarovski crystal organization video and if you're new to my channel my name is jess and i do tips and notice like i said here in this video i will be showing you guys some unboxing as well as how i organize my crystals what i got to organize as well as showing you guys all the different types of styles and shapes and sizes that they have and also if you're new to my channel do not forget to subscribe to it do not forget to turn on your post notifications so that way you get notified every time i upload and I'm really, really excited to be showing you guys some organization. So let's get on to showing you guys what I got to organize. Okay, so here's you could see you're kind of like in a weird, not weird, but like you're at an angle and whatnot. Um, I'll be showing you guys the stuff because by the time you guys see this video, my um, phone stand actually like gave up on me. So yeah this well gotta do for now with the ring light so it's even better because it gives you like a better view as well definitely comment down below if you guys like this view or if you guys like the view that you guys had before but here as you can see i have my Swarovski drawer from my cart and here i have these two bags that have Swarovski products in them which i will be going ahead and organizing here in my collection so if you guys haven't checked out those videos make sure to go check them out so that way you guys could see what i got from michael's so in this bag it has literally all Swarovski crystals and then in here this obviously i won't be organizing here this will go somewhere else completely different but in here i do have quite a bit more of crystals so let's get on to organizing so here's you can see on the right i do have my drawer which i'm just going to show you guys really quick um how i have it organized so in these two i have shapes and then the rest of these other containers have crystals i have more crystals in here here i have my backups down here here i have like a bit more extra ones that i haven't really organized into my collection but that's gonna change today so i'm really really excited to be showing you guys what i got and i just noticed this one spilled so we're gonna have to clean that up right now once we're organizing so like i said here i have like just extras and i have my pixie and that's mostly it for my drawer so the first thing that i will be going ahead and doing is organizing all of these by color i ain't pray for these baguettes i pray for better days, better days. i ain't pray for that new vet i'd rather okay so here as you can see i have everything in front of me so i am going to be starting off with their charms only because as you can see i do have a lot of them so i'm gonna start with the charms as well as with the raviolis just to show you guys real quick more of my swarovski collection here i do have charms in these which i'm probably gonna put in another container so that way i could have like a charm container specifically for my swarovski so i think that's what i'm gonna do with these here in this container as you can see it's so cloudy and dirty but and here I have like my um, regulars, here I have my white opal, my crystal, and my AB. Here I have my AB shapes, and then here I have my bigger AB stones, as you can see. So I'm going to be putting those, my regulars, in here. And then in this one I do have SS30s only, which I don't think there's any in here, but in case I do, I am going to leave this out in case I do need it. So I will be going ahead and starting off with my raviolis. Okay, so as you can see, I did go ahead and put the rest of my raviolis in here. Look how beautiful they look. So as you can see, some of these I do have them in the package only because they are like really, really pretty. Like look at the shine on those, they are brown. So that's this one. So now I will be going ahead and using this container to organize all of my charms. Okay, so as you can see in this container, I put all of my Swarovski charms, which can we just take a moment and admire. So here I just put my crystal AB hearts, my colored hearts, my colored um, flat back ones, and then these are pointed back regular round ones and the shapes, as well as a little paw print, lovely little kitty. 
Here we have these bigger charms, and these three, and then the little skull one that I recently got. So these are the Swarovski charms. Okay, so starting here with these right here, I am going to be going ahead and putting these in the container that they correspond to. So as you can see, I already have a container for them, so all I have to do is put them in here. And these were both $2 each, as you can see. So as you can see here, I did put the rest of the little pearls in here. Okay, so as you can see, I am going to be going ahead and start to put all the crystals where they belong. So I am going to be starting off with my AB. Okay, so as you can see here, I just put in the SS12s in my AB. And now I will be going ahead and putting these shapes into my crystal shape container. So if anybody's wondering the name of these, because I don't think... Yeah, it doesn't really, it doesn't, I don't think it has any on here. So this is the name and the size of these if anybody's interested. So I'm just going to be going ahead and putting them in here. Okay, so first I am going to be going ahead and starting off with my purple. So here I have already like my little piles. So actually in this container I have my pinks and my purples, which as you can see now I have more. So I'm going to make this container into just my purples this one's gonna stay the way it is except this top row i might put in with my purples i don't know if i should put it in with my purples or not but it's a really, really pretty color and then obviously this one's gonna stay pink so i am gonna be going ahead and moving these two colors into this container and then doing the purples So as you can see, I am moving on to the pinks, which I have here. So in this container, I did already move them around. Like I did mention, I did move around my purples. So in this one, I have my light rose. I have my rose. I have fuchsia. I have this like really, really light pink, which I'm not sure exactly on the name. And then we have this shimmer one. And then in this purple one, I did go ahead and put my tanzanite at the very top i have my paradise shine we have um, amethyst and purple velvet at the end which i'm still going to put more tanzanite in here so i'm just going to put this on the side and start building up my peaks Okay, so as you can see, I did change the angle a little bit just because I needed to organize some things. And also, as you can see, um, I'm doing something completely different than I was doing last time you guys seen the clip only because i did notice that my phone stopped recording so yeah so right now i'm actually going ahead and putting these regular crystal ones in this container and then i will be going ahead and putting these inside my purple container with my purples and then from there i'm going to be moving on to my golds my rose golds and then my pinks and then from there i'm going to start doing my blues my greens and like all the other colors and then at the end I'm going to do my white opal and my Pacific opal as well. Okay, so here as you can see, I did already finish my pink. So this is what it's looking like now. So I have my light rose. Uh, this one's Indian pink, this one's rose, this is fuchsia, this is light amethyst, this is... Not too sure the name on that one, but if you know, definitely comment down below. And then this, this, these three right here are, um, I believe they're light rose, AB, or light rose, AB or shimmer, something like that. So those are my pinks that I just now organized, and now... I am going to be going ahead and show you guys my purples, which are right here. So, in here we have purple velvet, we have amethyst, we have 
Paradise Shine, and this one is Tanzanite, which is a really, really pretty purple. So I do have some other purples over here, which are the light ones but i will be going ahead and putting these in another container now moving on i am going to be going ahead and doing my blues okay y'all so as y'all just seen i just finished organizing my greens so i put some of the teals that i had in there and i also put the pacific opal in here on the top as you can see so now what i'm going to do is put the rest of the pacific opal in here because i do have some over here on the side as you can see that i still have in the little trays so i'm going to put those in here and then i'm going to do my white opal Okay, so now as you can see, I will be going ahead and moving on to my gold, which will be right here. And then after that, I am going to be going ahead and doing this one as well. Okay, so as you can see, I did go ahead and organize all the crystals that I got. So I just want to show you guys real quick my collection. So here and here I did put all the little pearly ones as well as some new shapes that I did get as well. Then here you guys know that I have my gold, my golden shadow, the pearls, the crystal, the jet, the black diamond. Here I have all my colored crystals, which I didn't put any in here because I didn't really get any. So this one's just kind of the same. Although I did get a couple of AB ones that I did need to organize. So here are my AB crystals. And then also talking about AB. I did also receive some new AB, mostly 12s I got. I did get smaller sizes in the crystal clear as well as the white opal. So love that as well as AB. So I'm really excited about this one. Although you will see that I do need to get like more 12s and like crystal for the most part from this container. Then here, moving on to my drawer, I have all new colors, so I'm really, really excited. So starting off with my purples, in here I have purple velvet, I have amethyst, I have pur paradise shine, I have tanzanite in here. And again, all SS5, 7, 9, 12, 16, and 20s in here. It's kind of random. This one has all my neons. And then in here, I did put some new colors that I did get. So as you could see... I have this new color, which I believe this one's called like Volcano something. We have um, Light Sapphire. I'm not really exactly too sure that on the names on these, but I did have some darker blues that I did get as well as the D-Light ones. So I'm really, really excited about those. In here, I did get some new Pacific ones. So this is Pacific Opal. And I did get this new John Quill one as well as a teal. So I'm really, really excited about these. For next, I do have my pinks, which as you can see now I have a new container full of my pinks. So in here I have light rose in this first row. Right here is Indian pink. Here I have my light rose um, AB shimmer. Here I have rose. Here I have fuchsia. Here I then have I amethyst. I want to say I'm in here I do have this crystal AB shimmer one. I did put new um, sizes in here. So in here I do have... My rose gold, my golden shadow, my brown, I want to say that's what it's called, and then topaz, which is the brown. And then I in here, I did go ahead and put my jet, my black diamond, my chrome. I forgot the name of this one, which is like a darker chrome. And then here I have my shimmer. Here next, I do have my reds and oranges and yellows, which I did put a couple of like the orange and like the reds in here. So I'm really, really excited to be growing my collection. And then last but not least, in here... I did get my light um, turquoise, which also, I don't know if you guys could quite tell on camera, but my light turquoise got into these other colors, which I do need to organize. So I need to take a day to do that when I don't have time and organize those. And then I do have some other extra ones here, which I need to put in another container or just 
probably be in here. I need to use those up. But for the most part, that's just what's in here. And this is my updated Swarovski collection, I guess you could say. And also, if you guys didn't enter my giveaway whenever I did a haul with the Swarovski clearance, this is a winner, so I definitely hope that you guys enjoyed. And if you guys didn't enter, definitely stay tuned for my future videos because I will be doing more giveaways soon, so definitely stay tuned for that. But I definitely hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Do not forget to give it a big thumbs up, as well as do not forget to subscribe, do not forget to turn on the bell so that way you get notified every time I upload. And also do not forget to check out any of my videos throughout this one, as well as link down below. And also do not forget to check down below in the description for any of my social media, as well as any discount codes I have available. And again, definitely comment down below if you guys enjoyed this organization video and see you guys in the next one